Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Um, oh, that's right. I said the wrong button. <laughs> I kind of set up like the, you know, I guess what you say, like a Japanese way of controls your setup. Okay, where the frig are we going? Alright, we cleared this out. We gotta go back to the left. We're done with this temple. Ignore it. Keep moving. I hate those freaking things! Saved. Uh, Metroid's afoot. Oh, fucking stupid 360 controller, D pad, garbage. God dang. Yeah, the music in this game did get kind of creepy when there were Metroids of foot to foot. Uh oh, okay, so breeding grounds. Oh, great, render breeding grounds. This area spans a custom built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are de determined to be of artificial origin. This is synthesized through technologically advanced methods, they absorb nutrients from dead matter. Okay. Is another oh gosh. Alright, oh, this is a fight. Yeah, douchebag, you freaking idiot. Crap! Crap! Get away from me! Get away from me! Okay, there's not really a... Uh... In the old game, there was like a hit stun they had on them. To where they wouldn't get hurt by certain things. Or I'll crawl on the ceiling here. Ah! Curses. Well, I was gonna try to do the thing. This looks like something, though. Charge me still. <laughs> a second. One thing I want to check out here. Okay. Good. Let's keep moving. Metroids are a little bit more annoying in this game.
I don't know if you can hurt the missiles with a charge beam shot, but I don't tend to find out unless I run out of missiles, so. Killed all the metros, should be another earthquake. Yep. Not sure where we gotta go next, but. Alright, so we eliminated all the metros in this area. Guess we're heading over there? Yeah, alright. Hop two, Samus. Hop two. Faster than running. Alright, well, let's refill, recharge, save. Ancient Guardian. This is not in the original game. This sentry deploys spiked barriers and corners targets into its firing range. Its arcade design constrains it to operate at low power, preventing simultaneous use of its shield and mobility systems. Its arsenal consists of energy weapons with unique patterns. The robot was calibrated to detect foreign creatures bearing stolen equipment. Some earthquakes seem to have damaged the retraction of the unit and spiked barriers. Despite these complications, it remains a considerable threat. Check by the baby. All right. What's up here? Another thing's up here. Ah! 
Why does anybody even want to watch this crap? Jeez! No, I gotta do it all over again! No! Okay, got the, got the heart. Ah! Okay, we're just gonna do this right It'll be faster for me, trust me. I can't do anything with that now, but I can at least get this attack. Alright, it was worth it to get the extra missiles now. Let's move out. Now we gotta hit the ah, hit the pool of deaths. Hey, look, all the acids going now. Say I will not be denied, I will not be denied. Alright. Okay. Tell what that is. facility at the center of this reservoir filters and pumps water through enormous pipelines. These pipes come out of the complex and disappear into surrounding rocks, presumably to supply other buildings further down the cave system with clean water. Though abandoned, most of it remains functional, by activity is detected inside. Raw boots. Possibly go along with more raw boots. So 
wondering, like, why is this thing not letting me climb up that? I should be climbing pretty much anywhere with this crap. Oh, and I screwed up. Wrong button. I'm dumb. I am so bad. Oh my gosh, I have one health left. Holy jeez! Oh yeah, we got Spring Ball. Okay, I think I kind of remember that boss fight from the original. It wasn't, it wasn't as intense as that, and holy crap, I think you're dying. <laughs> okay, uh, hidden thing found and gotten. Yeah, this is the first where the spring ball originated, was here. In this game. So yeah, going off the beaten path, we found something new and exciting. That is one thing I absolutely adore about this game. It really brought about that, you know, hey, explore, but we're not going to make it like tedious, ridiculous, cryptic bullcrap that older games have. Side ball jumping ain't really gonna happen in this game. Over here, right? Shoot you. 
face. Oh, the spring ball just makes life so much easier. Heck yeah! I jump Lucio's skin more. Nope, nope, more ups. Ah! Man, you really jump freaking high in this game, though, crap. Jeez. Oh, I remember these stupid things. Yeah, that's kind of how this game's puzzle system works, is it's like, here's a thing, but you need to go to the other side of this area to find the entrance to get to the thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just, it's a way that this, the puzzle system's going to work back in this game. Whoa. Jumping 
seems a little weird with the high jump moves, but it's not bad. God, I need a new gun. Where is the plasma beam at? It's in this game. Of course, which game is this game? A lot of what's in Super Metroid was only in Metroid 2. Flush in the toilet. You know, now we got the high jump boots. knock off all my Super Metroid rust from the last game to this one. Ooh. Alright, let's go in this one. It's a good place to stop, and I'll catch you guys on the next Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Later. <laughs>